Here's a food question from several kids that have inquiring minds. Jacob Five from Gibb Harbor, Washington. Where do astronauts eat and what do they eat? Ryan, 15, from Noblesville, Indiana. What does space food taste like? Logan, 8, Delaware, Ohio, and Sarah, 15, from Hollywood, Florida. How does it taste in space? Okay, so those are, that's a lot of questions. I'll see if I can hit on some of those. <laughs> but food is important to you in space because obviously you have a lot of work to do and get done, but the one time you get to spend time with people and have a little bit of social time is over food and you want to have choices. About half of the food on board the space station is dehydrated, which means they take all the water out and it's preserved so it lasts for a long period of time. And you think about, oh, that's not going to make my vegetables taste any better. It doesn't. It makes them pretty mushy. But it works great for mac and cheese and for oatmeal, things like that. The other type of main food type we have is called MREs. They're like military ready to eat type foods that NASA has modified to decrease the amount of sodium uh, because that's bad for your bone health and we lose bone mass in space. So we have these other foods and they come in pouches and you can have a pork chop or you can have chicken fajitas, which was my favorite by the way. And it all tastes pretty good, but still the secret of space flying and space food it's all about the sauce. You gotta have a good sauce because the variety is pretty limited, so you wanna change up the sauce. <laughs> and the most asked question, as I'm, know what it is. <laughs> I'm what it sure is. you do. <laughs> Ness 10 and Ariel 7 from Montreal, Canada. Jax 12 from Lorton, Virginia. How do astronauts go to the bathroom? And Ian, six, from Noveville, Indiana. Do farts smell? <laughs> <laughs> farts do smell. <laughs> but to go to the bathroom. So we all know in zero gravity, things float. That could be a bad thing, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, so we, our toilets have suction in them. We have a funnel that sucks the liquid parts away and then you have to float in the proper position over the solid waste compartment. You have to have good suction that's pulling things away from your body to make sure that everything's clean and taken care of that way. But it's, it is a little challenging to learn how to do all this while you're floating. So you have to you know, find the right handhold and handrail, foothold uh, to make all that happen. But it's quite doable. Sounds like you almost have to go to the circus and be an acrobat. <laughs> Actually, yeah, there, you feel like that, especially at first. 